Alrighty, so here we go. Um, I had a request to do the uh, building again. So here we go. I'm going to create the cube. I'm going to press R. I'm going to increase it to yeah, where it's pretty large. At least takes up some of the... Uh, um, uh, some of the grid, right? And then uh, we're going to go up with this arrow, this green arrow. I'm just gonna drag that up to where it's on, sitting on top of the grid, right? So we can look at it from the bottom and then bring it down. And then there we go. There we go. Now we know it's as close to the grid as we can get it uh, by hand, okay? So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna change the anchor point to go to the bottom here on the grid. So I'm gonna turn snap to grid. It's gonna be right here under edit mesh. I'm going to hold D, and I'm going to bring this down. Now it's at the bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to press R again, and I am going to scale it up in the Y. Now it's a big old building, right? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, choose a box. I'm going to type in 16 here. Make sure multiple edge loops is selected and after typing 16 into the number of edge loops ensure that you press enter as well okay so I'm going to click here on the um, edges that go in the Y right that go up and down not the ones that go across right I want to go up. Uh, click the edges that go in the Y so now we have 16 fours now I'm going to press Q so I can get out of edge loop mode, and now I'm in selection mode, and we can go up here, right under the form, and turn object X on for symmetry. Hold right click down and choose face. Choose the face on the X axis and press R. Hold down shift, extrude it in, and actually what we're gonna do is we're also going to select that one too, right? So going to press Control E, and we're going to offset it at 1.3, and then we're going to press W, and we're going to press uh, Hold Shift, and then just go in and just enough, right? And we can turn snap to grid off, okay? And we don't need to have it all the way through or anything like that. We just need it halfway, right? Or not even halfway, just a little bit, just enough so we have a lip. So now we're going to press delete and go into edge mode. We're going to select these edges and we're going to press bridge. Oops, wrong. So we have to do it one by one. Okay, so we're going to select bridge and bridge okay. so now we got these two all right so one more time going to go into face mode going to shift select two of these going to press Control e going to offset it 1.3 going to press w Gonna hold shift and extrude it in. Then press delete. Go into edge mode. Double click that inside edge. Press bridge. Same thing here. Bridge. And we're good. All right? So the next thing we want to do is we want to UV this object. So I'm going to go up here to the top and go to UV and then UV Editor. Okay. And then I'm going to go to Tools and Show UV. I'm going to grab this UV tool and slap it onto the side right here. So it's all on one screen, right? Here we go. We have to go into our 3D 
three D view. Um, I think what I'll do is there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into object mode, click that, and I'm going to go over here into my UV toolkit, and I'm going to go to create, and I'm just going to press automatic. All right. So now we have all these shells where we should have something similar to this. If you have a bunch of small shells at the bottom and then some really, really large ones, then you probably accidentally extruded one too many times. And so you want to check that. Okay. So luckily, um, so let's right click and go to UV shell mode and let's turn symmetry off. And so luckily, um, pretty much all these are facing the right way. If you have any of these that are not facing the right way. So what I mean by that is if uh, th this is the best example, you got one facing up and down and you have one facing from left to right. So you can select one of these, go into transform here in our UV toolkit and then rotate it to the correct direction. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to start stacking these shells. Now, um, so let's see. So these two should be the same. All right, so we can stack these. So I'm going to collapse, transform, and go to arrange layout and orient, or stack and orient. Okay. And also these two, stack and orient because they're all going to be the same. And if I want to align and snap, I can just click right there. Align and snap, and then click this uh, box right here, and it goes up into the left corner. Okay. So now these, I know they're all going to be the same because we did them uh, together. So I'm going to go to Stack and Orient, and I'm going to go to Align and Snap, and put that in the top right corner. All right. So... All right, so these four are going to be the same. Going to stack and orient. Then I'm going to put these two stack and orient. These two somewhat close together. Select them all. Go to align and snap. Put them up in the center. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is get our two faces. And we are going to stack and orient and align and snap over to the left corner. These two stack and orient and align and snap over here. And these two again, same thing. And we'll just put that right there. Okay. Obviously, we would uh, maximize the um, UV space on this uh, a bit more, ensuring that the shells took up the maximum amount of space possible. So, um, see if we can do that. Well, you know what? Let's increase them all at the same time. So they're all doing the right thing. Okay, so get those two. Plop those right there. Okay, so now we got to figure out. We need a little bit more space, enough for one more square. So we can do that. And we can transform this, we can rotate it, and we can squeeze it down just a bit. Just so we can leave enough room for this right here, and we can snap that to the center. And these are going to be on the top and the bottom, and we can maximize that as well. Ready? So um, again, this is just a quick 
layout again, I would spend a whole lot more time ensuring that as much space as possible would be taken up uh, with all these. And, um, but just showing you what you can do. All right, so um, hopefully this helps you out. Thank you for sending me the question. I'm really, really happy, and it's a pleasure to make these videos for you. And, um, and just keep asking questions, and I will keep answering them. Uh, thank you again for watching. My name is Spicer McLeroy. You can find me anywhere on the internet under Shotgun Scream. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. I need some. I need some fans. I need some helpers. I need some engagers. All right. Shotgun Scream. Have a good night and um, have a good night.